Today's podcast, I sit down with Charlene, the East Cape Clinic. I got to meet her a year ago at our first annual Sinathon in Los Bariles. We sit down, we talk a little bit about what the clinic is and what services they provide, their expansion plans, and it's usually a top three topic for our clients, how's the medical care? We'll take a listen and find out. I wanted you to come back because we met actually two years ago two at the first ago. Sinathon mm-hmm. and then again last month at the yes. second annual. And Charlene, you have been here for how long? In 25 the- years. Originally from where? Um, I was in the Army, so I lived about everywhere. But I grew up in a small town in Chino, California, mm-hmm. not ranch, horse mm-hmm. ranch, and um, aspired to be a nurse all my life. So I attended college in uh, University of Georgia, Mm -hmm. eventually into the Medical College of Georgia. And um, from there, I went right into the Army or the Navy. Okay. And I joined the Navy um, because I wanted to see the world. Wait, you first started in the Army and then went to the Navy? No, I started in the Navy and then went to the Army. Okay. So I spent nine years in the Navy Uh and then my mother died, so I got out for a year. And then I decided I couldn't afford myself, so I joined the Army. Okay. And from there, I traveled the world. You know, it's really interesting. The podcast we just had before, I don't know if Brian and Hope, if you know him, um, but Brian, 36 years in the Army. And it's interesting. I'm starting to see a common theme. People that have relocated to the Baja, Mm -hmm. military, well, global travelers, you know, not scared about relocating somewhere mm-hmm. in the middle of Mexico, right? In the Baja, yeah. in Los Bariles. So 25 years ago, was it your, what prompted you to move here over somewhere else? It was a process. We came down with some friends who lived in the spa. Mm-hmm. And it was a smaller town. They didn't have any medical services or telephone for that matter. So... We spent two months here in the winter time of 2019. Okay. And by the second visit, we were looking for property. Okay. Wait, 2019 or 1990? Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) 1998. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 98. Yeah. So over 25 years ago. Yeah, it's been 25 years. We, uh, we immediately fell in love with the area. Wow. It was small town. It was a lot of new people that we met. And it was straight to Los Bariles? Or yes, you, yes, it was. We, d- we thought about San Jose and Cabo. We mm-hmm. traveled there. But it just seemed too industrial, even at that time, before really? all the hotels were right, built. Right, right, right. But we enjoyed going there. Mm-hmm. But to come home to a nice beachfront property was really what we wanted. Okay, so you mm-hmm. relocate here over 25 years ago, mm-hmm. and you're still working at the time? Or? I was still working. My job paid for the cement bags that, while we were building. Okay. So I've never been without a job my whole life. So what, were, what kind of work were you doing while you were living, first starting to live here? And I was volunteering for a doctor that um, put up shop in the Plaza de Pueblo. Mm -hmm. And he knew my credentials were good, and he he said I could kind of feed off his information. And eventually, after a year, I was running the clinic. Okay. And that's here? Yeah, it was here. And that was back in 2000. What was the medical care like? 20 years ago. Scars. Yeah. Yeah, really scars. There weren't oxygen tanks. I was a little afraid in this clinic because he didn't have any equipment. Mm. And um, so I found my own oxygen Mm -hmm. and um, just did consultations and emergencies and sent people to the hospital. Okay. Which hospital would you be sending people to? Well, or no, La Paz? it was Los Cabos. Oh, okay. I uh, eventually affiliated with the Merriment Hospital. Mm-hmm. And they had a hospital in San Jose and Cabo. Yeah. And also, 
um, one in Carithico. Uh huh. So, so on mainland Mexico. On mainland, yeah. So I just approached them and I said, you're missing a golden opportunity. I said, I'm living in a small town and there's no medical and we really could use a satellite of your hospital right. here. Yeah, yeah. And they bought it and came here and visited and we contracted. We built a little clinic and um, I ran that with uh, one doctor and a reception. Oh, wow. So yeah. we were there about nine years. And how has that um, evolved over the years? Well, Amerimed eventually sold, mm -hmm. and the owner of the, of the organization um, taught me more marketing mm -hmm. so that I would go to the cruise ships and talk with them about right. using their facility. But they sold out Cabo and San Jose, and they folded the company here. Mm -hmm. So that left me wondering what I was going to do with all the patients I had acquired. Right. Yeah. So I opened a corner unit in the Plaza de la Libertad where mm -hmm. Remax is. Mm -hmm. I remodeled the inside and um, got medical equipment from friends. And I've, I'm a long-term Rotarian, so I was mm -hmm. able to get a global grant for x-ray and lab equipment. Okay. So we did a lot of diabetes education in the community and just daily consultations. Okay, and what does the uh, service look like now for oh, the Oh, our community? service now? Yeah. We've really grown. We have grown. We have wonderful diagnostics, and part of the reason is because um, I have a few friends in the community who want to see our clinic supplied. And so I've been gifted with a portable x-ray, ultrasound. Mm -hmm. um, this year we got dental equipment, mm -hmm. an intraoral camera, and a panoramic uh, CT scanner. Okay. So that's coming in January. All right. So most of our equipment I've acquired through okay. friendships or yep. organizations. And how many patients are you seeing on a monthly basis? Well, is it cyclical? I mean, it's very cyclical okay. because um, summertime the census goes down, so we're just seeing local people okay. or residents who are here full time. What percentage of the patients are lo local Mexican nationals versus foreign? I would say it's about forty percent Mexican nationals mm -hmm. and sixty percent foreigners. Okay. So we really rely on the foreigners during the high season. And. Yeah. In terms of staff, how many people do you have at the facility? Well, I'm proud to say we now have 31. 31 people? 31 employees. We opened a branch, a satellite branch in La Ribera, mm -hmm. and we're trying to acquire the land that it's on and build a nice big clinic there mm -hmm. to service some of the resorts that are coming Because it's in. growing so oh, much. Oh, it's growing huge. Yeah, so we see the need there. We'd like to open a dental clinic there eventually. Right now we just have consultation lab and pharmacy. Okay, when you talk about the dental services, you have a dentist that is there full time? I, I have or? five dentists. Five? I have two permanent dentists. One is an implant specialist and the other is an endodontic okay. specialist. So we have uh, three other employees that come in Every week or twice a week. Okay. Wow. And so, I actually, one time, um, family vacation, we were in Chicago. My wife, Rocio, has a horrible tooth pain. And it was crazy trying to find dental care in Chicago, mm -hmm. right? And then how do you pay for it and all of that business. Right. We were actually thinking about flying back to Cabo to get the procedure <laughs> fit, right? So if someone is visiting mm -hmm. or someone is seasonal to the area. Um, this service is available here in Los Barriles, mm -hmm. dental and medical. Exactly. What other kind of, medical is such a broad. Okay, medical is mainly emergencies uh -huh. and primary care. All right. But we have specialists that come in, uh, urology, mm -hmm. for instance, gynecology. Mm -hmm. um, we have a nutritionist mm -hmm. and a therapist that come to visit us uh, twice a month. Okay. So that kind of rounds out our um, medical. We have four doctors and one coming in January. And 
this is like a full-time job for you then, Charlene. It is, is it a not? full-time job. And are you able to take vacations and get away? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've got a strong <clears throat> admin team. Yeah. And um, they they run everything while I'm gone. Two okay. of the employees, my admin, have been with me 15 years. So, I, get the, I get asked this question by clients all the time. You live in paradise. This is the place people go on vacation. Where do you go on vacation? Um, well, I go to Seattle to visit family yeah. at least once a year. And then I go to San Diego three or four times a year to uh, access my Medicare. Okay, got it. Yeah. And for you, it's where are the opportunities for um, medical care for your clinic? You talked about expanding into mm -hmm. La Rivera. Um, is there any other expansion plans or the level of services provided? Yes, we have, we have plans. The plaza we're in has a corner unit mm -hmm. that's as large as our, our central location. And we're considering putting in medical supply, um, hospital bed rentals, mm -hmm. oxygen rentals, mm -hmm. and anything orthopedic. Okay. As well as um, enlarging our pharmacy. All right. So there's a pharmacy already. Yeah, we have a pharmacy right by the dental clinic. Okay. Here in Los Bariles. Mm -hmm. My concept was to have medical, dental, pharmacy all in house so that you didn't have to go running around trying to find a pharmacy. And this was all started by you. Mm -hmm. Like, this is your idea. It's my this is idea. what. No help with, I mean, everyone has help, but no partners. No. In this. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is no. Impressive. I, I'm unique. I'm a unique person. A trailblazer. I'm a trailblazer. I have been my whole life. But did you do like have a clinic back in the states? Or I worked you... in a private clinic for four years in mm -hmm. Seattle, mm -hmm. and I really had a huge panel of patients, over a thousand, and did daily consultations and education. If anyone wants to get involved or to help out the facility, how can they get in touch with you and what can they do? Well, that's a good question because we have a website and we also have a Facebook and social media. Mm -hmm. I have a young man that's um, putting new posts in almost every day. Okay. So that's one way. Um, the other part of your question was... Yeah, what are ways that people can get involved or help? Because this is a service, you know, medical care, um, is one of the top three, mm -hmm. I think, things that our clients ask be. us about. Be, yeah. How's the medical care? Is it reliable? Mm -hmm. Is it affordable? Um, because I'm coming from the States or in Canada and I need to be close to medical services. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, how close am I to the beach? How close am I to yeah. restaurants sure. and things like that? Um, so I think it's good because a lot of our uh, visitors are also from the medical profession. Mm -hmm. They want to get involved or they want to see mm -hmm. um, how can people get involved and help? Well, we, uh, we do monthly health screenings. All right. And that's a way people can get involved by volunteering. Mm -hmm. And the other way is donate. Mm -hmm. You know, donate equipment or donate towards equipment yep. or donate towards causes that we have. We just finished a child, after three years, we were able to get him cochlear implants, wow. and it's changed his life. And those are the success stories that I feel good about. You know, we've accomplished something. It took a long time for the fundraising, but we accomplished it. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, Charlene, I appreciate you coming in and telling us a little bit about your clinic, and I hope that a lot of people will visit you, mm -hmm. both online and in person. And if any of you are in Los Barriles or in La Rivera, stop by. Say hi to Charlie. Right. Can I put my address and information on the we'll website? We'll make sure to link it all into okay. the description. And okay. um, we're even on Facebook, TripAdvisor now. TripAdvisor, yep. Facebook, Yelp. Instagram, mm -hmm. Yelp, your website. We'll include it all. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And until the next one, bye, bye for bye. now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this episode of the Nick Fong Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ronaval Real Estate. And follow Nick on Instagram at Nick Fong underscore Ronaval. 
Ready to find your Baja dream home? Check out the latest property listings at Ronovald.com or findmexicohouses.com. Hasta luego.